Green Jaw, it's your knock, Peter Mono. Welcome back to another Golf Stories podcast. I'm, of course, joined here by PGA Tour caddy Daryl Adden for episode 41. Man, you're back on tour. We are back. It's uh, it's been nice this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's it's been a minute and get to feel feel the juices flowing again. Uh, Houston's a a place I love being. Food's great here. I had some. I've been spoiled, so uh, that's been nice. Uh, Stroud's from here, so he knows a lot of the good places and knows some people. So we've been definitely getting hooked up. <laughs> awesome, the local watering hole. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and he just came f- from dinner with our boy Adam, right? Yes, I just, oh, I no. just, you know, we had some pho, uh, mm. and so we we're able to. I I thought I was going to take longer, and we're able to get it done. So shout out to. Adam and uh, what a great dude! The goat man got my clubs out to me too last week, man. Freaking, freaking, oh. and uh, man, those clubs are uh, they're lovely so far. And you know, my dad's giving me shit. He's saying they're they're newbie clubs. I'm like, results don't lie. Results don't right, lie. Right, right, right. <laughs> so uh, exciting times ahead for the game. Uh, I shot seventy one. I mean, I don't. I'm. They don't mind admitting it. You definitely want to brag on that if you shoot something good, uh, first round out. Uh, so yeah, pleased with the pleased with everything so far. Uh, again, shout out to Adam Harding, uh, friend of the pod, friend of Ping. So yeah, we're we're all set to go. Did you get any golf in lately? Uh, the the last time I played golf is I played on Friday. Um, I have my six with me the, these next two weeks. So I'm not going to get in any golf this week but the plan is to get some golf in next week. Mm-hmm. So uh, I haven't even looked at the weather officially next week either. So but regardless, it's me and a couple of caddies. It's kind of always what we do is we bring our clubs to the last event of the year so we can uh, play with each other and do all that fun stuff before the, the break technically happens. Yeah. The end of the end of the year. Uh, and yeah. yeah. Usually sea Island gets a little chilly. So hopefully the weather sticks, uh, stays warm for you guys. Uh, but yeah, man, it's cool that you have your clubs. Uh, and I mean, I wish the weather was like uh, what it is behind me here at uh, what it was for Maya Coba, man. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Did you uh, get to catch any of it? Our boy Russell Henley, your first pick way back when, got the dub. Oh, I mean, uh, I didn't get to watch much of it because I was traveling. I was traveling on Sunday. Yeah. And, uh, but I definitely kept track about it. And, you know, believe it or not, I, uh, seen russell today congratulated oh. him oh. uh he owes me some georgia gear and <laughs> uh because we have this like thing like he wants me because i don't really have a college that i root for mm-hmm. officially and so he's been trying to give me some georgia gear and i basically said all right i need my georgia gear down so we'll <laughs> see that's in the works yeah well maybe he can convert you over to lsu side since we're looking uh, like maybe they're faded uh, to meet <laughs> It's that's unreal. It's good to see. I definitely favor the LSU side compared to the opponent that they yeah. played against. Oh, Bama, 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 man. That was a, what a yeah. game. What a game that is. It's exciting time in college football. Uh, I didn't catch too much of the, uh, the golf either, uh, but it was a, a pretty comfortable. I saw the highlights, pretty yeah. comfortable victory for old Russell and who, who was exercising some demons. It's been five years since he last yeah. Which is interesting. He's a guy that's been, you know, uh, in contention often. And, you know, he's got three wins already in his young career. Uh, and is this a guy that you would have thought of had, you know, one almost yearly type of thing. Um, but, you know, it suits his talent. It's a good course. I was eyeing him, didn't, didn't pick him last week, but was saw him on the list. And I thought that was a, a good choice, too, if someone went with him, clearly. Um, who finished second? Let me see. Uh, in contention, we had Brian Harmon, another uh, Georgia Bulldog, by the way. Uh, you got Scheffler and Joel Damon, almost hitting a hole in one on a par four there. Uh, and, and you know, Seamus Power following up his win, uh, also tied third. He had a hole in one in like two hole outs or something. Yeah, I seen that. I seen those highlights. Yeah, so they were they were just shooting at pins. Twenty three under ended up winning, being the win by four. Uh, any thoughts on uh, the contenders or how the course was playing? I'm, I'm guessing it was really soft if they were, you know, putting that. Yeah, uh, like I said, it, I heard, and it, I'm happy to see Russell win. Great dude, 
and uh, well deserved. So definitely cool to see him throw up, and it's for his fourth win now. Yeah, fourth win. Keep him counting. Um, yeah. yeah, Brian Harmon. Yeah, the jolt, the the whole the whole outs were pretty ridiculous, especially Seamus Power, who's just coming off a win. You're like, man, this dude's just on fire. And so, I mean, yeah. I guess Russell's got to be even more on fire to win over by five shots over him. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Victor Hovland didn't get the three peat. He did have a solid showing at top ten there. Um, yeah, so this, it was a decent field uh, and in a good event. Uh, always look forward to. Uh, you know, calling an event at this lovely uh, course with this great background. Uh, any last things from uh, from last week? I, 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 um, if if I have it correctly, I think that place is going to be a live event next year. But I don't, I don't, hundred oh. percent know. But I think that's what everybody has been saying. So that's oh, wow. my last tidbit there. Wow. Okay, that's breaking yeah. news to me. At least I mean, I'd, that that's crazy. I mean, this hey. hey it's it's picturesque. I don't blame them. So <laughs> they're gonna right, go right, it. right, right, right. That's that's crazy. That's an, an interesting thing. And uh, I guess they saw that answer and Ortiz are playing soccer, and they're like, "Well, we have to get it now." So yeah, we have to get it in for sure. You got to please the Mexicans. Uh, but yeah, good to to, to see Mayakoba. I guess we'll see if the what happens in the future there. Uh, as we've talked about this week is the uh, Houston Open the cadence bank houston open ran by uh the houston astro foundation go strohs right they just won the series so mm-hmm, world series mm-hmm. uh there's been a sponsor the past few years after it was struggling to surprisingly find a sponsor crazy enough uh but jason kokrat who's on the live tour now won it last year it's on uh, a public golf course a muni as some would call it uh, Memorial Park Golf Course out there in Houston. I think this is, I want to say, the third or fourth year that's been there. Um, but it's a pretty third. long track. Uh, so, uh, what, what you got going on over there, Daryl, as far as your thoughts on the course and everything like that? It, it's, it's, it's beefy. So, mm. um, I was here in 2020. That's when they had the first one. Uh, last year I wasn't here. But I heard last year the course, they, they tried to do something in the course and it didn't turn out well. So the course wasn't in good shape. Um, the year I was here was in fairly good shape, but the difference was, is there was no grandstands. They just barely, it was one of the first tournaments that they let fans out here. Oh yeah, I remember that. Um, and so for me, since I haven't been here since 2020, it looks totally different with all these grandstands and just like knowing where I'm at, it's, it, it's, it's a little different. In a good way. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, hard to chip out of. Hard to chip out of here. Fairways are a premium. And again, if you're in the rough and you're not hitting it long, it's going to be a long day. Like even par is a really, really good score here. Yeah. The rough looks not. I mean, I'd imagine it's Bermuda and I imagine yes. it's, it's gnarly. It's, it's, it's gnarly on top of it playing very long. Mm. It's, uh, it's going to be a good test this week. So, even par rounds to two under rounds a day go a real long way. Yeah. And especially a weather forecast for you guys, it's going to be cold. I know this because we're, I'm going to, going to be down there uh, with the fam to watch us on Saturday and it's going to be a chilly one on the weekend. So just makes the scoring even tougher. I mean, yeah, I believe, let's see, I'm looking at it now. 13 under when Carlos Ortiz won it in 20. And then was it 10 or 10 or under. eight last year? 10 or under 10 last year. Uh, Co-crat work yeah. last year. So, I mean, yeah. it's already a beef beef test, and you add in the weather, you add in, I mean, different look with the grandstand. It might be minor, but different look. You know, it's it's just going to all, all add up. I mean, I think this very might well be a single digits. Uh, type yeah, of I'm, I'm excited for it. Yeah. it's uh, you're, You and Chris Stroud, man, you're going to grind it out. I mean, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. got a Houston boy. Uh, you know, hey, sponsor on a exemption. sponsor exemption, yeah. correct? So he's gonna play it out hard, and uh, hey, man, he played here well here last year, I believe. I checked the stats. I got y'all. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So, uh, the only thing that I'm not looking forward to, but I, I'll be all right when it gets there. We have the first tea time on Thursday, oh. and that's a six, that's a six forty tea time on Thursday. How about that? Ugh. Yuck. Well, good thing we're. Getting- 
we're getting this in now <laughs> and that's and that's basically what what pushed me yeah. uh tomorrow i'm gonna ha- i'm gonna have to go to sleep early because i'm gonna be meeting him mm-hmm. at you know 5 15 mm-hmm. so it's gonna be a 4 a.m wake-up call for me Ugh. gross all good all yeah. good it, it's gross it's gross but i'm excited back on the pga tour my juices are flowing again yes indeed you the like- hardest part is going to be getting there that's true the logistics of it does look a little uh a little weird here yeah this week i mean just uh from my experience going to tour events it's definitely a, a little bit you have to get around you have to get out go go out of your own way to get there right so, uh it'll be interesting it's right in the middle of houston uh how you liking stroud's game uh it it's it's sharp. I'm um, I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. We we put in a new driver this week, Ooh. and so that's going to help. Uh, it's running a lot more. So if he if he hits the fairway, it's going to help us a little bit to you know not only carry but run out a little bit more for him. Yeah, especially on this type of course. Uh, yeah, great man. Yeah, I, I think uh, I have faith in y'all. I'll be cheering y'all on. Hope y'all. I'll see y'all out there on Saturday. That'd be awesome. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so I guess I'll move on to my picks. Let's see this thing. Let's go. Yes, sir. The CBS odds down below, starting with that dark horse, that DH. I'm going to go with a guy who's never won in Texas, but he is Texas through and through, Mr. Ryan Palmer. Mm, Ryan Palmer. And the beauty of that that pick is we're paired with him the first two days. So well, I'll, be keeping an eye, I'll be keeping an eye on that. What do you know? Fate would have it. Uh, he's 100 to 1 odds, so deep dark horse, as they think. But he tends to do well in Texas. Uh, I'm, I, I mean, at the end of the day, like, yeah. granted, he is a dark horse. I don't look at him as a dark horse. He's yeah. a he's a contender, ball striking Jesse. Like, he's mm-hmm. just going to beat courses up. Absolute ball striking ball. He's a, uh, you know, he only, I, I actually have no worries about him contending. It's about finishing, you know, with Ryan Palmer. You know, right, right. To just get to that finish line. Uh, hopefully he'll be there. I, that's what at least I think. I think he's, he, if there's any events he would want to win, it's definitely the ones in Texas and, of course, you know, the majors, but the, definitely the ones in Texas, he probably plays real hard, I'd imagine. Texas A&M, uh, Aggie, maybe avenge his football team's struggles uh, by playing well. Uh, so that's my dark horse, my uh, contender. We've been preaching his name a lot, just like we were preaching Russell Henley's name a lot. He's been playing well all year, just hasn't got the finish line, hasn't made the full comeback yet. But Mr. Jason Day, 30 mm, to 1 on Jason Day. Mm. Love it, love it. I mean, knowing what I know, uh, because it's such a long golf course, you're probably going to have a lot of long irons in. Mm-hmm. And so long irons typically don't bode well because you're not going to be hitting a lot of the green. So one of the great chippers of the of the game, Jason Day. So definitely love that pick. Very capable of grinding it out there and made the yeah. the what's, the uh, saucer putter, the mallet putter look cool uh, for when he was in his prime. Right. And, uh, yeah, he's been playing great all year. We've been preaching his name and just hasn't quite got it you know, over the uh, finish line. Uh, but this fall so far has played really well, some really good golf, and I think uh, this would be a good spot for him. Houston, Jason Day, I mean, a little Filipino flavor as well. I mean, that doesn't hurt. Uh, he's definitely Love it. a, a Love player it. I'll probably try to watch if he's there on Saturday. So, J Day, yeah, three to one, million, a million percent. Yeah, he's the CBS likes him too. Thirty one's pretty pretty good odds for him uh, out there, and um, and for my winner pick. I'm going uh, this Homer pick here. Uh, I'm riding the not the not the Roll Tide wave. I'm riding the LSU wave. I'm going Sam Burns. Basic, basic. Oh, love it, love it, <laughs> love it, love it. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Like watching him, you know, hit golf balls is is actually really cool. Yeah. Um, he's, I think, the Dustin Johnson of our tourish. You know, probably yeah. not as long, but in that like realm category is what I kind of picture a guy like Sam Burns. Yeah, kind of a gunslinger in a way. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, 12 to 1, so he's second favorite. Scotty Scheffler, 5 to 1 is your favorite. So they're liking him too. Uh, yeah, I mean, this this pretty much shoots his game. Bermuda, long, can up and down and putt it. So, I mean, it is right up his alley. Uh, LSU won. Maybe he's feeling good about himself. I don't know if he's a Strohs fan, but usually Louisiana people are Strohs fans. So 
and maybe life is just good and he's just going to continue that that wave so i'm i'm looking forward to seeing sam burns out there he's definitely another guy that i'll, I'll probably be trying to trying to watch on saturday uh and you know fight fight out there there's actually a pretty good field low key uh great better field than, better than previous years uh, i know uh before like i know since they moved it to the fall the, the fields have gone kind of weaker but uh, this is definitely a solid, solid field. They have Matsuyama up in there, Scheffler, of course, Finau. Um, yeah, the Gala. Uh, they, they've got some names up there that you would want to watch for sure. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm excited uh, to, to get out there and see y'all, to see all these players, to see the course. I've never been there, but I've heard uh, good things. Uh, regardless if it's a Muni or whatever, it's still – It's a really good Muni, though. Yeah, it's the the really best. Really good, being hard, meaning yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm looking forward to it all. Any uh, any memories from Houston, Daryl, that stick out or from this tournament? Uh, I was here last in 2020 with Hunter, and um, again, when Carlos Ortiz won is is the year that I was here, and it's Houston, just a a, a great place to be. Love it here. Um, good little stretch for me to you know, finish out the year at Houston, Seattle, and just good vibes. So just trying to keep this thing rolling. Yeah, good spot for sure. Yeah, I, I, I've i always enjoyed Houston being in Baton Rouge. I mean, it's only four hours away, so we, we've taken many trips there. Uh, my experience with this particular event definitely goes more with the Redstone course. Uh, we went there, say, 2013, I believe Stenson won. Oh, no, no, DA Points won it. The Points, DA points. your boy. Eight points, and then twelve hunter won it. Yeah, so a, a, Henley won it. Henley, Henley won it in twenty seventeen too. It. Yeah, so you got a bunch of guys. Anthony Kim, uh, Poulter. I think twenty ten. I think he was. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So they've got some names uh, that won the event uh, back in Redstone. That was a pure course. Uh, that that was a beautiful course. Interesting enough for those fans who don't know that not a very fan friendly course because the first. First and 18 are like completely separate from the other parts of the course. So you'd have to walk kind of a like a mile just to get to the other parts of the course there. Uh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, her, I remember. Yeah, I remember uh, seeing Billy Horschel up close and personal. That was right before. That's when he was trying to get that first win. He was really tenacious and everything like that. So I was up close and personal. I remember seeing him, Dustin, for the first time in my life to see him there. Um, yeah, I mean – that was a pretty cool experience. Uh, and like I said, Houston, just a good spot in general and just good food. And uh, I'm Asian. Daryl's Asian. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of Asian influences there. Bel Air. It's got a, a lot of, of culture here. Yeah. Got a lot of good spots to hit up and, and not just, you know, Asian spots. I mean, there's some barbecue, there's some, whatever you want, really. Yep. Okay. Yep. So uh, it's a good spot to be. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to, the old Cadence Bank Houston Open to see who uh, will get the W. Um, last things, uh, I, there was some breaking news as far as uh, Tiger Woods coming back, playing in a match. Let's go. Yes, Love it. With my boy. Yeah, Rory McIlroy. I mean, it's a star-studded match. It's Rory and Tiger versus uh, Spieth and Justin Thomas uh, in a 12-hole competition in Pelican Golf Club in Bel Air, Florida on uh, December 10th. Uh, so it's the seventh edition of the match. Uh, it's the first time the golfers like, are not the first time. It's been a while since just golfers uh, were in the event. Last time, I think they had two, four starting quarterbacks uh, going at it, but really cool event usually. And uh, I, I want to just see them cut loose, you know, come on now. I know there's cameras. Yeah. There. I got all the mic, all yeah. the mic up stuff mic'd up stuff it, it, it's gonna be fun i'm i'm looking forward to it yeah i mean it's for a good cause too um i don't know the course uh, i guess we could maybe scout it a little bit and check it out uh next week and give you all a better uh review of it but yeah i mean it's good to see here that tiger's back playing and uh you got three studs that are in their primes with him i mean frick it why not right yeah love it yeah, this is peak silly season stuff. <laughs> you know, we got that. We got the PNC, I think, is about a week after. He got his uh, Hero World Challenge uh, the week before that, I think. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of silly season golf to be played there. 
Uh, but uh, yeah, just cool, cool announcement uh, there. And uh, like I said, we got Houston and then we got Sea Island, man. We're coming up to the end of the, the year and end of this pod, really. Well, end of this weekly pod for, for now. Uh, but uh, looking forward to all that and talking about it next week for our final goodbyes, I guess. Uh, but any last mm-hmm. thing before you want to close out this particular episode, Daryl? I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, I'm excited to be here again, get, getting my juices flowing. And um, it's going to be an exciting two weeks that I have in front of me. So let's just keep at it. Let's go. Let's get a good finish for D. D and Chris Stroud. And uh, I'll give a little equipment junkie news Uh-oh. Uh, for all you guys. Uh, just uh, not for me specifically, but uh, Gary Woodland is no longer with Wilson staff. Breaking I know story. who he, I know who he's with, mm. and I will say this: if you follow my story, it's the last post that I did, and uh, whatever company you see on that truck is that's where he's at. Okay. And I'll leave it at that. If you guys are interested, I am always interested in that. It's always just fun <laughs> to see players in different uniforms, so to speak, in golf. Um, but uh, I did see. Hey, I saw your post on. Uh, Wilson Staff's driver and Kevin Kisner was testing it, and I was like, "Oh, yeah, no, that's that's like I said, I it's 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 nice to see really like a lot of the companies are really stepping up. Obviously, mm-hmm. I have a favor of what I I prefer, but at the end of the day, like a lot of the companies are stepping up, which is cool to see. Yeah, and competition's always good, right? For sure, for sure, so. man. And uh, yeah, I I appreciate the equipment stuff, and uh, obviously, again, my new stuff in. Uh, gonna no, be fun, and it's just gonna get better. Yeah, that's the beauty about it. It's just gonna get better. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna get used to it. Got to get this putter. Got to get the feeling right, man. Uh, but yeah. once I once I get it down, I, it's gonna be clean. It's gonna be it's gonna be cl- so clean. It's dirty. Uh, right, love it. Looking forward to that. Uh, but yeah, Daryl, it's, it's fun as always to do the episode with you. Uh, audience members, uh, don't be shy. Please let us know. Uh, what's your thoughts on this or what's your thoughts on the match whatever it is let us know down below uh, and uh i will say one more thing yes um you know for the people that have been listening uh next week i'm gonna get creative i don't know what it is for sure but i'm gonna do a couple of giveaways oh. and uh, we'll we'll kind of figure out you know what what that entails moving forward but uh just a little thank you to everybody we'll we'll do some giveaways yes sir okay i like it daryl so. That's a surprise to it. me. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Christmas so, all good. Yeah. All righty. Well, you know what to do, y'all. Like, subscribe, comment below. You know your words. Mean-